When did you start vlogging? How did you guys meet? Favorite, my absolute favorite Filipino food. Who said I love you first? Please tell us this story. You. <laughs> <laughs> what is your ideal wedding? Beach. Oh. <laughs> Where will you settle after your marriage? Philippines or Norway? How many kids do you want? Any plans of having a baby soon? Good morning you guys, welcome back to another sit down video! Hey, <laughs> That's your thing, again. <laughs> it's okay. If you guys are new to us, my name is Martin Solaugen. And I'm Apple Loving It and I make travel vlogs, travel guides, cooking vlogs, Marvel oh, vlogs. Bad. Marvel <laughs> vlogs, we are Marva. If you're new to us, we both are travel vloggers, we do travel vlogs on YouTube, we do photos and inspiration from all over the world. But as you all guys know, now we're focused right here due to what's going on in the world. So today we figured out, hey, or actually I think it was yesterday, we got together and we're like, hmm, what can we do for tomorrow's vlog? So today is our first Marve Q&A vlog. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. So we've never done this before and yesterday Martin asked some of you guys what are the questions that you want to know more about the Marve? Exactly. Yeah. So that's what we're going to do today. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Okay. All right. So the first question we're going to read is from the community tab on YouTube. So we announced this on YouTube and on Instagram. We're starting off on YouTube. Martin, when you plan to visit Ovid last December 2019, was this part of the plan that you will still stay here until March or not? Have you ever thought about staying in the Philippines for this long? So I actually went on a one-way ticket kind of going here in uh, December and then this whole outbreak happened and then I was just like okay well the plan initially was for us to travel the Philippines for two to three months and then we were gonna go out then we're gonna go to South America or something mm -hmm. but I don't mind staying here at all. Hi I'm in a biracial relationship as well what cultural differences was the most difficult to overcome and how did you overcome it? Or are you possibly still working on it? So, okay, definitely number one, language barrier. Yeah, uh, a lot of times where I wanted to say something really important and I'm stressed, I can't say it right away because English is not my first language. Exactly. Yeah, so sometimes it frustrates Martin or it frustrates me mm. that we cannot communicate properly because situation. Your brain is thinking all these words but yeah. you can't get it out in English so the other person under, uh, understands. So I think that's one of the, the most difficult things. Yeah. But when me and Ava started dating, the differences between Norwegian culture and Filipino culture are very very large in some areas. For example, in how you, in the Philippines you share everything you cook. We had an incident all the way in the beginning where I didn't understand why we'll have to give out all, all our food while now I do. And like more, more family oriented in the Philippines, extended family orientation. You guys visit your cousins, your grandma's cousin, your grandma's grandma's sister. Yeah. <laughs> so when we went to Bicol, I had that whole round of visiting relatives. Yeah. With so much time doing daily vlogs, do you still have quality time together? Talking about anything important to you? So when we wake up, we talk about things and also before we go to bed, we watch some series or we watch a movie mm -hmm. Then we talk about other things. Yeah. So I think in between waking up and going to sleep, we tend to do our own thing and which is, which is good mm -hmm. because sometimes being together in one place for a, long a, time. a very long time you easily see some small things that... It's easy it, for things to annoy yeah. you. Mm. But also like on the daily vlogs, let's say you guys see 20 minutes of our 24 hours. So there's a lot of things off camera that we do that don't necessarily make it to the cut of the vlog, right? So I think, yeah, my answer to the question is that we do have quality time. Just the other day we had like just a dinner for us, didn't vlog or anything. Yeah. Just marvel time. Very nice. So it's, thanks for the question. I mean, it's important to remember that. Mm. Okay. Hi, Margaret. When you when did you start vlogging, and why did you choose it? Thank you, Edlyn. When did you start vlogging, Avid? Uh, well, technically, it was 
around 2013. Mm -hmm. I made, I kept it private now. I made some small uh, quick recipe vlogs. Nice. I think it's like only for three minutes, four minutes kind of vlogs. But then I gave up because a lot of people went after me it's like, Oh, I speak in English, just speak in Tagalog. And I'm like, okay, the reason why I'm speaking in English because I have friends from America that, mm. you know, might not understand it. So I stopped. Uh, and then in 2016, uh, I started to travel a little bit more. Yeah. And that's when I realized that, oh, there's no travel vloggers in the Philippines. Like, Travel vloggers that makes travel guides, budget tips, and all that travel things that you need to know before you visit a place. So that started in 2017, but not until 2017, when that's when I started creating content on a regular basis. Before it was just once every what three months, mm -hmm. two months, but now it's like maybe every week, every other week. Um, and in 2018, that was the time that, okay, I'm actually earning through travel vlogging. That's why I create travel vlogs once or twice a week. Now, I'm doing a little bit of daily. Not gonna lie, it's a struggle, but I am trying my best. <laughs> yeah, very good. What goes for me is I live in Hawaii, 2016 to 2019, I think. And I think it was around 2017 as well. I started daily vlogging. I got inspired by a Swedish videographer and I just decided to do it myself. So I did daily vlogging for 220 days. And then I had a long break where I just created videos here and there for fun. And then did some vlogs in 2019, a lot of just cinematic videos. Uh, maybe in the whole of 2019 I created maybe 20 videos but now since I got to the Philippines three months ago I created 40 videos so now it's full-time YouTube and I'm super excited about yeah. it I'm happy we're happy to do it together yes. like you know two travel vloggers finding each other doing what they love that's pretty unique yeah oh actually yesterday I posted a video of reacting to our old videos exactly yeah so that was our first two vlogs together how we met and then our first date <laughs> you guys want to see it i'm gonna link it right here check it out hello lovely couple i just wanted to ask what is your greatest element to keep your love forever <laughs> yeah what's the greatest element we can use so i think the best for us is communication communicating there are times that we get annoyed at each other, not gonna lie. Dr. Dre and Sarah, if you're watching this, <laughs> they've seen it. Yeah. So it's not always about like sweetness. And I think that's the best part about our relationship. Once we see something wrong, or once we felt like, oh, we didn't like what you did, mm -hmm. um, we tell it right away. Yeah. yeah. I also think if you're having an argument, don't be unrealistic with your comments. <laughs> like that's when you start losing ground. If you start saying stupid shit. So we, <laughs> yeah. we, we were very clear with each other from day one. Uh, if we're having discussions, be real. Yeah. Don't lose your yeah. mentality here. Let's not say weird things to each other. To Martin, who are most understanding? Foreign girls or P9 and why? <laughs> this is like a setup. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I really like the Pinai culture is very caring. Uh, it's very caring for the other partner. My mom is watching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very caring culture, so it really comes down to the individual. But my experience so far in life is that you're the most caring, loving girlfriend I've had. Mm -hmm. So who knows? <laughs> Thank you. You are as well. Yeah. Okay, so we're running out of power here, but we're gonna move over to Instagram questions. Okay. All right, so going over here. Let's see. How do you guys deal with haters? If I read a bad comment, I'm like, oh, that was weird. And then I just try to ignore it. But sometimes I think if it's a, if it's a rational written hater message, which never happens, right? There's really never any reason to it. 
a lot of the hater messages we get. And then it's just ignored because these people don't know the full story or the whole background. When are you guys planning to have your wedding? It was supposed to be soon, but you know, I think now is not the right time to even plan the wedding. So we're still not sure. Probably 2021 maybe. <laughs> or 22. We'll see. <laughs> How many kids do you want? <laughs> I've always thought like I at least want two. So I'm gonna cap it at three. So it depends. If we get one girl, one boy. Probably okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're fine with that. I think um, two is good, but we, we can probably consider having a third child if yeah, it's like little yeah. Makuli running around. Hi! Any plans of having a baby soon? One, two, three. No, not yet. No? <laughs> How did you guys meet? Well, if you watch our mukbang of our love story, like it's right here. Bing! You would know how you can we get met, and also, <laughs> yeah. and also yesterday, like I said, I made a vlog of reacting to our old videos. Oh, it's yeah, also true. in that vlog, so. Because it's a long story, so we're not gonna jump into that right now. <laughs> Where will you settle after your marriage? Philippines or Norway? <laughs> when once we have our own family, for sure, it's gonna be Norway because it has better healthcare system free education for the kids which i think would be very beneficial yeah. for us True. you know um but i told martin well we actually agreed to this together that we want our kids to go to the philippines every year or every other year yeah. just to just for them to experience what it's like to be in the philippines or like living to know more about the culture of their mom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can maybe you wanna read some. Okay, so now I was gonna <laughs> read some questions for you guys. First impression to each other. First impression of Martin. He's very slick. Clean. <laughs> yeah, first impression. First impression of Ava in Sri Lanka was like very full of energy. Mm. <laughs> What's gonna be the next question? It's over 400 questions for us, so that's why I apologize in advance if one question that you really want to answer to didn't make it. We're gonna do this more, I promise. Did your stay in the Philippines change you in some way? And if so, in what way? I think this is for Martin. Mm. Definitely. So the Philippines, because of Ava, I've been really introduced to the locals, the local culture, you take me around to so many places. We get just got a big understanding. So it's changed me in a lot of ways. I think I will never be the same after uh, my stays in the Philippines. So the answer to the question is yes. I mean, I could elaborate a thousand ways, but I feel that's it. What do you love most about Ate Ave? And for Ate Ave, what do you love the most about Kuya Martin? Ooh. What I like most about her is her friendliness to other people, her includeness. She never wants to talk down on anyone. It's rarely a topic in our relationship where we talk negative about any others. We just, okay, that person is what that person is, but that doesn't matter to me. I'm not gonna focus my energy on it. So I feel like you have a good energy around yourself mm -hmm. and that's kind of what I fell in love with. Mm -hmm. Martin is the kind of person who will always think of something positive no matter what how difficult the situation is and i think my family can attest to that because they will always say this is <laughs> they did you know that they call you mr positive well that's good <laughs> yeah so uh, martin is always um there to cheer me up happy go lucky it's my mentality happy go lucky yeah. don't focus your energy on the negative things Focusing on what you want and the positive things. Yeah. And when oh, no. hey. And when I'm having a bad day, he would be like, "Okay, let's read your um, comments about uh, like positive yeah. comments," and mm -hmm. he'd be like, "Just tr try his best to cheer me up whenever I'm having a difficult time." Thank you. Yeah, it goes both ways. I love you. I love you too. Thank you, baby. 
Good question they ask. Very good question. What is the first thing you do when you wake up? Cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> the first yeah. thing we do is cuddle. I make myself a coffee. I just relax. I check You're, my phone. You check your phone, yeah. your notifications, mm -hmm. what happened. Yeah, I yeah. check the news. Mm. That's it. Yeah. How to keep your long distance relationship going, especially when you have different cultures. So I want to answer to what we did is that I promised Ava every other or third month we we're going to be together. Mm. Even if it meant us flying to a country in between, meet mm. halfway, or me go to the Philippines or her go to Norway. It's just mm. a sacrifice you have to do if you want to keep it up. Mm. We also call each other every day. Yes. Try to cheer each other up. Mm. What's nice is that we are both lucky that we can travel while still working so that really That's made it true. more easier for us We're sorry i just for a reason there consider that to be normal but um definitely what else if we if it wasn't for the travels i would just keep up the communication mm -hmm. surprise each other send physical letters mm -hmm. because calling is so easy now but sending a physical letter that will warm the other person in such a great way send gifts send cultural artifacts Try, try to be creative with your love, showing your love. What is the best gift that you have given to each other? So I'm going to talk about the best gift that you gave me. So the best gift she gave me is uh, an experience in the Moroccan desert. She took me out to the desert, treated me to this Moroccan tent in the middle of the desert. We s spent the night there with under the stars, champagne. It was amazing. And I think we do believe in that. Physical objects are not necessarily the best gift you can give at all times. But giving someone a memory, an experience to remember, can often be worth a lot more. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I, I recently, for her birthday, a couple of weeks back, <laughs> I gave her a flight ticket to wherever she wants to go in the world. So I'm, I'm really excited about that. Yeah. Okay, next question. What is your ideal wedding? Island wedding. Island wedding for sure. Beach. Oh, I find it. Beach. Yeah. Um, I just imagine beautiful weather, palm trees, beach, yeah. uh, blue ocean in the back, her standing there. Aww. Um, all like I see good faces of my friends that I've met throughout the years, and then just host a big party after for everyone mm. and give them a piece of the Philippines at the same time. Mm. That was a cool question. Because now we, I just want to find something we haven't been touching at all. Your go-to lens and camera. Uh, I use the G7X. Mark III for her. Mm -hmm. I use the Canon G7X Mark II, but right now, the last couple of days, I started vlogging on an A7 III from Sony with the 1635 G Master F2.8. That got very nerdy. Who said I love you first? Please tell us the story. You, yeah. <laughs> oh, I have a screenshot. Did so. I say I love you first? Yeah, you said. Did I? You said I love you a little. Love you a little. See? See, you have to start at first, small. At first, he was saying, oh, I like you a little. And then when he, I think it was during one of the Christmas celebrations that you went to, like Christmas parties, and you're like, oh, I love you a little. <laughs> I love you a little. Mm, okay, and that was online, but... Still counts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and when we met each other in Norway, after that, it was, for me, I'm not yet... Comfortable with comfortable, saying Comfortable, but I do know that I love you. <laughs> no. No, I always say it. Hello! <laughs> What's our favorite adventure together? You first, you first. <laughs> okay. My favorite adventure with Ava was actually... Uh, it's so hard because there's so many places. That's so many cool places we've been. It's so hard to pick just one. But there's something special about when we went to Morocco because none of us had been there before. Yeah. That's why I really, really liked it. So I'm gonna say Morocco. For me, it was when he first went to the Philippines and for that's for my birthday because he met my family for the oh, first yeah. time. I really like that and mm. I introduced you to our culture yeah. and showed you how beautiful the Philippines is. I'm really proud of it. 
You should be yeah. because it is very beautiful. Mm. So first destination for Martin was Coron Palawan. Mm. It's so crazy because I didn't understand how beautiful it was. It was like, and I, walking around the town, I was a bit scared. I'd never been to the Philippines before. I wasn't, but now I'm just like walking around. Everything is normal and standardized to me. Mm. This, is a, this is a good yeah. question, actually. So next question is from Marge Belus. Whoa, it's like marvelous. <laughs> Do you sometimes fight about what things? Um, even the smallest things, actually. Like, Martin, yeah. I told you... Put not your to toiletry back on the sink. <laughs> no, like, Martin, I told you not to wear your outside clothes and lay down in bed. Yeah. I don't do that anymore though. Yeah, that's good. I try every other day, but she looks at me with a killer instinct. <laughs> um, Martin, I told you to spray the. Yeah. I know. It could be. <laughs> it can be everything from that to. Yeah. Uh, what about me? Sometimes she she just like get the ano. <laughs> if I'm if, if it happens too much and I'm like a bit tired at that moment, I'm like, what do you mean the ano? <laughs> Speak. He's like, I. Uh, how do I say it? Can, can you rain up? Can you get the ano? Ano. The, the ano. <laughs> Alright, so next question is from Sayo Chua. For Martin, your favorite Filipino food? My favorite, my absolute favorite Filipino food is Bolalo. Bolalo, 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 Bolalo. Yeah, but he doesn't eat the bone marrow. No, but the sizzling bulolo, the sizzling we had at yeah. the ano. <laughs> Guys, we are coming up on the last question. If you're still watching, big up to you for watching. I hope it answered some of the questions you guys have. Uh, it's a lot of questions, but we are going to finish up with the last question, which is... For the last question is from... Melon Juice. <laughs> I remember that guy. That's the guy that came into the hotel in uh, Iloilo. Oh, really? Yeah. Hello! <laughs> hey, what's up? So, his question is, what's the best thing about this quarantine period? I think Martin and I um, get to know more about each other. Mm -hmm. Like, what our struggles are, especially for me. And Martin has been really helpful. Because he always um, just say a lot of positive things. Mm -hmm. He cheers me up. I try my yeah. best, Ava. Thank you. Try mm. my best, like you say. I also think if you treat it the right way, for me especially, I've been doubling down on my YouTube game now. Like mm. I've switched to using a better camera. I'm like mm. trying to fix every detail in my YouTube channel. There's more time to do things that you don't usually have time to. Yeah. But on a relationship level, it's definitely, if we can get through this, we can get through everything. Yeah. Because you can go crazy when you're forced to be somewhere for 14 days in a row. Like usually, if we were just to move to, if we were allowed to just move freely, we probably wouldn't even think about it. Yeah. But it's mentally very, very exhausting. But the positive thing about it is that you learn to deal with your emotions like yes. that. If you can control yourself, motivate yourself, you can get through anything else in yeah. life. So that being said. Are you yet subscribed to Marva? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting us every day. I wake up, read comments for you from you guys. So much positivity, really. Uh, I think what I want to do um, one day is I want to just do post-its. Post -its, write down all your guys' best comments and just motivate myself because mm -hmm. Really, you guys writing all that positivity to both of you. Motivates us motivates to keep doing on what we love doing. So thank you so much. And if you guys still haven't watched the Marva playlist, it has over, over 70,000 plays now. Just the playlist alone. What? What? 70,000 what? Anyway, um, anything else you want to add? Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys stay safe. Yeah. Please stay indoors at all times. Don't go out, not unless you have to. Mm -hmm. And always sanitize, especially when you, you know, uh, yeah. travel outside. You have to. Uh, get, uh, make sure you have a one meter distance from other people. And yeah, we're all in this together. Um, thank you so much, especially, especially 
for our frontliners. Um, we couldn't have done this without you. So the fact that you're watching every day, ring that notification bell, ding, 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 ding. and you will get notified whenever we release a new a video. Bye. Goodbye, guys. Oh, I want to kiss it. Wow.